Economics 101. We have a 10 multiple choice quiz here. We're going to cover some introductory topics on supply, demand, market structures, and you'll have 15 seconds to answer each question. I'm going to ask the question. You'll get 15 seconds to choose one of the four multiple choice answers. And when you finish the quiz, I want you to let me know in the comment section how many you got right. All right, let's dive into the quiz. Question number one, what describes the amount of goods and services that people are willing to buy at a specified price at a point in time? A, quantity supplied. B, quantity demanded. C, discounts. D, surplus. The answer is B, quantity demanded. Quantity demanded is the amount of goods and services that people are willing to buy at a specified price at a point in time. Question number two, what market structure describes a small number of companies that compete in the market and have significant control influence over that market? A, monopoly, B, oligopoly, C, monopolistic competition, D, perfect competition. The answer is B, oligopoly. An oligopoly is a market structure where a small number of companies compete and have significant control and influence over that market. A good example would be Pepsi and Coke. Pepsi and Coke are such a dominant players in the soft drink market that it makes it challenging for other companies to get established within that market, but there is multiple companies competing. Question number three, what term describes the rise in the cost of living over a period of time? A, surplus, B, price ceiling, C, deflation, D, inflation. The answer is D, inflation. Inflation is the increase of the cost of living over a period of time, generally applied to a broad basket of goods and services. An example of a metric that tracks inflation is the Consumer Price Index, which is calculated by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. CPI will report inflation over a broad basket of market goods. Question number four, what describes the amount of goods and services that people are willing to sell at a specified price at a point in time? A, quantity supplied. B, surplus. C, discounts. D, quantity demanded. The answer is A, quantity supplied. Quantity supplied is the amount of goods and services that people are willing to sell at a specified price at a point in time. In other words, this is what suppliers are bringing to the marketplace. If you've gotten any value out of this video so far, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. Okay, let's move on to question number five. Question number five, a minimum wage law is an example of A, a price floor, B, supply and demand, C, a price ceiling, or D, market equilibrium. The answer is A, a price floor. A price floor is a law or enforced price control that sets the minimum price a good or service can be sold for. This is the, the lowest price set usually by a government that anything can be sold for. In our example here, this is the lowest amount you're allowed to pay an employee. Question number six, what market structure describes one company that controls the market 
and prevents new companies from competing in the market. A, monopoly. B, oligopoly. C, monopolistic competition. D, perfect competition. The answer is A, monopoly. A monopoly is a market structure where one company controls and influences the entire market. They have price controls. There is no competition. In the United States, if you're determined to be a monopoly, the government can break up your company. Question number seven, a government mandate to restrict the price of rent in a certain area would be considered a A, price floor, B, supply and demand, C, price ceiling, D, market equilibrium. The answer would be C, price ceiling. A price ceiling is a price control that sets the maximum price a seller can charge for a good or service. This will usually be legislation or coming from a government agency that's enforcing a price ceiling. This is the opposite of a price floor. Question number eight. What is it called when quantity supplied equals quantity demanded? A, surplus. B, deficit. C, market equilibrium. D, elasticity. The answer is C, market equilibrium. Market equilibrium is when quantity supplied, what is brought to the market, equals quantity demanded, what is demanded out of the marketplace. This is when you are living in economic harmony. Question number nine, what describes stagflation? A, high inflation and unemployment. B, high inflation and low unemployment. C, low inflation and high unemployment low inflation and low unemployment. The answer is A, high inflation and high unemployment. Stagflation is when Inflation is high and unemployment is high. This is not a great scenario to be in. This broke the Phillips curve model in the 1970s when it was believed that unemployment was a trade-off for inflation. Stagflation is not the economy that you want to live in. And our last question, question 10. When quantity supplied to the market falls and quantity demanded remains the same, prices will A, decrease, B, increase, C, remain the same. D, need to be discounted. The answer is B, increase. When, when the quantity supplied to the market decreases while the quantity demand remains the same, this will cause a shortage. You have the same amount of people that want the same amount of goods, but you do not have the same amount of supply or same amount of goods. So the result is prices will rise. All right, let me know in the comment section how you did on the Economics 101 quiz. How many did you get right? Did you get 10 out of 10? 8 out of 10, 5 out of 10, let me know how you did. And I will also link in the description, I have a playlist of other accounting and finance related quizzes. If you're looking for some more quizzes to help you with your college studies, or if you're just looking to brush up on accounting, finance, and economic topics. All right, I appreciate you. Have a good rest of the day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.